Polar Bear is here at the Walmart. Say hi, Polar Bear. Hi, everybody. Hello to all my fans. And we've just gotten a dozen pint canning jars. And now we are going to discuss things Amberlynn Reed is going to need if she becomes bedbound. And I fully expect that to happen in about the next 18 months. And it just so happens the first item on this list is right next to the canning stuff. And this will be a small refrigerator. The taller of these are $139. The 4.5 cubic foot one is $159. And uh, let's see how much the 1.7 cubic feet ones are. It's uh, $49.94. There's one for $89. We've got a 2.7 cubic foot but I don't see a price on that anyway she's going to need one of these because she's going to want to keep some cold food handy and for her insulin if she's shooting her her own insulin although probably somebody else will be doing that for her Next item on the list is a nice big television set. Because let's face it, when you're going to be confined to one room, you want a TV in there. So this 55-inch uh, one looks like it's $478. That one's 648. Next item on the list you might not think of, but because she's going to need her electrified items close, she's going to need a good quality outlet strip. This uh, hyper tough one with two USB ports and surge protection for 1984 would probably be a very good choice and for convenience it will probably need to be mounted so she can plug and unplug things one-handed this will be critical she's going to need some fans with a remote control since she's not going to be able to get out of bed to change the settings. She will probably want a small microwave. So she can cook items out of her refrigerator. This one's on $49.88. Although usually around the time you have the back to school sales. You can small, find small microwaves for about $25 to $30. Next item on the list will be a bedside trash can. She's going to need a small sturdy table to hold the refrigerator and the microwave. The microwave can sit on top of the refrigerator. A tall narrow bookshelf or cube system with an open face will be very handy for keeping journals, remote controls, healthcare items, and other personal items close at hand. 
one very important item that she's going to need is baby wipes. Not necessarily for whole body washing, but for wiping her face off, cleaning her hands. They are very, very, very handy. I use them quite a bit myself. I do know, I do know they make adult disposable washcloths. And hospitals have those that they'll actually keep in a um, heater to make it more comfortable for the patient. But yeah, she's looking at... Uh, sponge bass when she becomes bed bound very undignified okay here's my yippee moment yo yo yippee 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 and that's actually one i have not seen before it's a duncan butterfly with um a ball bearing axle in it so, I, it's not on my budget today, but uh, I will be coming back eventually to buy one of these. It would be very, very helpful for Amberlynn to have a remote control for her lights. which we have here for three outlets at uh, $22.84 and you won't need an electrician to install those that would probably be adequate Polar Bear and I are going to head over to the healthcare section to look at some of the more serious uh, things she's going to need. Okay, we're in the healthcare section now, and a couple things she's going to need from this section is surgical dressings, Roll, rolled gauze will probably be nice, going to need lotion the uh, non-generic name for this uh, Provo iodine solution is betadine and because unless she's in a air bed she's going to probably get bed sores bed sores are preventable with good care and moving the patient regularly but for breathing reasons, she's probably not going to be able to be on her side. So there's going to be wound care issues. Her caretaker is going to need lots of uh, examination gloves. Okay, I don't see a bedpan here. They may have them someplace else. But if she is a male, definitely a portable urinal. Female, a bedpan. She's also going to need a grabber. Actually, I find those very, very handy. And I'm not bed bound. If they make them in and the appropriate size she's going to need adult diapers and I don't know if they have bariatric sizes I'm sure they do might not be able to get those at Walmart though baby powder will be on the list of necessities a uh, dry shampoo will be very very handy and there's probably one here, and I'm just not seeing it. You can also use cornstarch for that purpose. The advantage of using a spray dry uh, 
shampoo is you can do it in layers and it's a little bit less messy. I am not being cruel in this video. I am simply presenting some realistic facts. And I, I think because it's obesity has become so common, I think people under about the age of 40, well, let's say 35, really have no concept of this not being normal. I met my first morbidly obese bedbound person in 19. 1990, and this was just before the obesity epidemic exploded. And realistically, it is a function of a rich society and food being extremely cheap, historically speaking. I am predicting if nothing changes, Amberlynn Reed will be bed bound in approximately two years. And when you think about it, except for outliers including accidents, certain diseases, a lot of those would be Genetic. It is almost unheard of for anybody under 70 to be bed bound, and those people are either bed bound temporarily because of a broken hip or other injury. And even now, that would be a lot fewer days and weeks than it used to be because. Basically, yeah, they get you up and moving as quick as possible for a whole lot of reasons. But yeah, basically when somebody becomes bed bound, they're dying. Maybe not, you know, two to three weeks dying, but they're looking at dying within the next six months to a year or so. Example of really cheap food here. One dollar for cracker stackers. Two hundred and twenty calories, ninety from fat, sodium three three hundred and ninety. And uh, get those calories a hundred years ago, you had to work a whole lot harder for it. I also blame the invention of the microwave for an increase in obesity. Workplaces that have become more sedentary, you know, just going from a manual typewriter to computers added 20 to 30 pounds on office workers. Yes, a manual typewriter is a workout. I watched Amberlynn Reed's uh, Don't Judge Me video while I was at McDonald's having a couple of sodas. Basically, it was clickbait, nothing to report here. But I am going to 
uh, make a comment on what some other people were commenting on. There were a couple of people said I'd like to see her get in and out of that pool and that it probably took two to three people to help her. And that's probably true. My highest weight was 268. I hit that in my late 20s. And then lost some weight. But basically most of my adult life I've been in the 240 to 250 range. And this has caught my attention. Minute corn. Vacuum packed. Corn on the cob, okay. And you know, I'm just now under 200 pounds. For the first time since I was in college. And that was over a little over 30 years ago. I'm 55 right now. I graduated. It took me six years to finish college. So probably since I was about uh, nine, 19 or 20. It's probably when I hit 200 pounds. I'm not quoting on that. But yeah, when I, when I was bigger, and I'm still fat, I'm still right at the edge of the obese range. I know I'm between 5'7 and 5'8, but I don't know exactly. I think maybe next time I go to the doctor, I'm going to get my height what, uh, measured. But if I put 5'7 in the BMI calculator, I am still just over the obese range. If I put 5'8, I am just under it. Now, some things she's going to need, as I think I said earlier, will be rented. That includes a hospital bed, probably one of the over, over the bed tables that you see in hospitals. So I'm sure they make taller ones for obese patients. And the nice thing about these is, you know, that renting this equipment is there's service and support on it. If it breaks, they come in and replace it 24-7, basically. She's probably... She may be on oxygen by then. Maybe, maybe not. Um, wouldn't it surprise me if at some point, and she probably needs one now, a CPAP machine. She's going to need at least somebody in the house 24-7 going to need rent a nurse might not be in there every day but uh, probably a nurse in there at least three days a week I have probably started to ramble on a little too much so we're going to conclude now See if there was anything else I wanted to say. No, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and we will talk to you later. Just realized I got off track when I was talking about my previous weight and Amberlynn Reed getting in and out of that pool. And I will admit, when I was heavier, they I would not do things because it was difficult you gotta pick out you and like I said my highest weight was 268 pounds she's 300 pounds above that and shorter so yeah there's there's no doubt in my mind 
she needs somebody to grab onto getting in and out of that pool which looked like it had about two to three foot sides on it I'm guessing it's just simply a fact of being overweight you don't have to be nearly 600 pounds to reach that Catching all of our waxy melts so this is the final conclusion to this. I'll see you later.